Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for Thursday, July 4th, 2019. It is Independence Day here in the United States. I want to hope I want to wish everybody a great day. I hope you all have fun. You have lots of great cookouts, lots of family time, friend time, whatever. Have a good, great, grand old time. And you have a great holiday weekend. Yes. Okay. So um, also keep in mind that this is a general reading. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information is in the description box below. Also keep in mind that these messages are timeless. So just because they come they are uh, dated. Well, it's dated for today, um, the 4th of July, 2019. It really can resonate at any time for you, okay? So whenever you're guided to watch this video, whether it's the day of its release or later on in time and it resonates with you at that moment, then that is the message for you at that time. Yes? Okay. So let's get into it. I have a bit of a pre-shuffle here. And it's really funny well, it's not really funny, um, and, and to be quite honest, I guess I shouldn't be surprised, <laughs> but I'll, I'm, it's, it's very interesting, the card that is coming up again today, but we'll get there in a second. So, um, first thing that came out was the Knight of Wands in reverse here, and in this depiction of the Knight, here's the Knight, this is the, this is the side that we're used to. Yes, I'm using the Vice Versa deck for this for these, these readings now. This is the side that we're normally used to. This is the Knight of Wands. This is, um, this is wishy-washy energy. This is um, here one second, gone the next. This is extremely fast moving energy, but this is energy that tends to burn out very, very quickly. Um, the Knight of Wands is an, is, a, is an individual or a type of person that gets cold feet really quickly, really easily. Um, and often doesn't usually have much of an intention of staying anywhere too long for too long. Now, that isn't necessarily a bad thing because with the energy of the Knight of Wands, this is also a type of individual or a, cir a circumstance or a situation that comes in, you know, really fiery, really quick, probably really passionately for a specific reason. And then once that, that goal is met, they move on to the next thing. So it's not always such a bad thing, okay? It's a very creative energy. It's also just a very fast moving energy, right? When it came out though, it came out as this side, okay? Now, at, this side is actually, it may look dark, it may look scary, but this actually feels um, a lot better to me because here, you see you have the lightning that's striking. To me, that is like the, the, the lightning that strikes, like we'll say the tower, or this is like the spark of inspiration. This is the, the moment where the flash of, of intel or understanding or insight comes in and it sparks some sort of fast moving direct action, okay? But here, it came out in reverse. And so what this is saying to me is there is some there's some sort of inspiration that's coming forward for whomever I'm channeling for right now. And um, you're in resistance to it. Why are you in resistance to it? Because the King of Swords is here. And it's so funny because looky here. On the back side of this card, you have yet again another, or I'm not sorry, not the back side, the other side of this card, you have yet another flash of lightning or flash of inspiration. And if the two were upright and facing this way, I would say that you are very logically taking this, whatever insight or spark or flash that's coming in for you, whatever would be catalyzing some sort of really fast movement, um, really passionate movement in some sort of new creative direction, you are in alignment with that and you're taking it seriously and you're really logically trying to follow through with it. Unfortunately, what we have here is this Knight of Wands in reverse with that flash of inspiration, that spark of inspiration. Um, but then we have the King of Swords who is upright. And, and, and don't get me wrong, the King of Swords is not always a bad thing, especially when he's upright. But here, this is just telling me that logic is overtaking intuition here, where you have 
this intuitive insight and it doesn't and you're getting this flash of inspiration so it's not like you're really seeing everything clearly the the king of swords energy i feel like is the is that that voice that's saying to you well you don't have all the information you can't go strictly on intuition that's not even real that's not even tangible mm. the king of swords needs to sit down a little bit here and shut up a little bit <laughs> because intuition always trumps logic period no matter what anybody has to tell you about it and i know that there are things that can there are situations that can spark because of an intuitive flash that can get real crazy but often it's the ego that's making it crazier than it needs to be why well because you don't have no tangible proof you can't really see you don't really know you're just going off of imagination screw you actually <laughs> screw you now Okay, let's pull that back a little bit because this really does feel like the ego is getting in the way of this spark of inspiration for you, all right? And there's a good reason behind it. The Nine of Wands. This to me is telling me that you, that you have an energy or a history of just being battered and bruised. I almost feel like I, like, I almost want to tell you to have, take a break, to take a rest, because you're needing, because yes, you have this spark of inspiration here, and you have a catalyst to move in a brand new direction in a very fast and passionate way, um, but your ego is getting in the way. King of Swords. Now, the King of Swords is upright. I want to say that again. So this is not as bad as my explanation may have made it out to be, or made it seem to be, because logic is 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 still necessary okay you still have to be um balanced level-headed and clear now this doesn't also this doesn't have to be so bad because maybe you're just trying to make logical sense of it it's like okay whoa hold on i have this spark of inspiration here but i'm not just gonna ride off into the night without having a clear, logical understanding, at least as a, a, a somewhat of a logical understanding of what the situation is or what I'm moving towards or at least what my end goal is, okay? Beca before I just start run riding off into the sunset here because I I've been through some shit, y'all, <laughs> okay? We've been through some shit and I just, I don't want to hurt as much anymore or at least i don't want to deal with the things that i've dealt with in the past i want that to be done so i'm not going to take action in the way that i may have in the past or i'm not going to just jump at something because i have the logical inspiration okay that could be what you're saying here and that is good that is a good thing but there's more okay you have the eight of wands here and that is in reverse. Um, but then you also have this guy, the King of Pentacles, who's been coming out all week and he is reversed. This is the part that kind of, I'll, I'll use this word just because it's, for, I guess for lack of a better term, but this, this part kind of concerns me a little bit because this is the part that says to me that you don't believe in yourself, that you don't feel like you are adequate enough, that you don't feel like you are established enough, maybe that you don't have enough finances. And you could, it, you could absolutely have, not have enough in the, term, in the way of a budget right now. But the thing about that is, it doesn't matter if you don't have it right now. What this is saying is you're holding a belief that you'll never be able to have it or that you'll never be adequate enough or that you'll never be well established enough or that you'll never be experienced enough you'll never be mature enough even it could go that deep it could go even deeper but that's this this part this part is the energy in conjunction with everything else that we were talking about here this part is the energy that concerns me the most because this is a lack of self-belief in your ability to follow through in your ability to to um, God, I wanted to say man up. I'm trying not to use that term. I feel like we should not use that term anymore because it's part of a twisted um, view of masculinity. 
Um, but again, for lack of a better, better term, because some people are going to resonate well with it. And I don't mean it in a derogatory way. I mean it just to say, as it's a, it's a phrase, it's something that we understand, but you, you don't believe like you'll ever be able to measure up to whatever it is is coming forward for you, mainly because of all the things that you've been through here with the nine of wands, okay? And ultimately that is keeping you from moving forward. That is blocking you. Eight of Wands in reverse, and logic, and, and, and it's funny because you're you, you're allowing this. I this almost looks like um, never a Snape, I believe his name was from um, Harry Potter. Um, even though, in my opinion, he actually wasn't that bad of a character. He was just a very dark character. And I don't really see darkness as bad anymore, but I'm seeing this as a, this individual, even though he's upright, this King of Swords, I'm seeing this, and this is an energy, this might be a person around you, it might be, but I'm seeing this as an energy right now, um, a voice in the back of your head, or in the, you know, uh, um, behind your shoulder, not a physical person, but like an, uh, just an energy of a sly, smooth talker that is trying to, that plays on your fears. Which is why I'm getting an energy of this is your ego coming through because your ego, our egos thrive on fear, okay? So it's as if there's an individual or an energy whispering in your ear, playing to your fears, recapping all of the things that, that have helped, had you or held you battered and, blo and bruised, all of the things you do, all the obstacles you've been surmounting, all the obstacles you've been coming up against, this, that, and the other. And it's saying, it's, it's causing you to disbelieve. It's causing you to lack faith in yourself and your, your own physical ability to move forward in the direction that you're inspired towards, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So that was the brief shuffle. Let me just reset, and then we'll see what we have for the rest of our message for today. Ooh. Oh, yes. Looky here. The Five of Swords. Mm. Fear, competition, backstabbing, one-upmanship, self-destruction, lose-lose situations. This is your ego. Oh, oh my. Look who, we have. Look who else we have. King of Wands now. The King of Swords and the King of Wands were, uh, have been a fo- not the, well, I'm sorry, the King of Pentacles and the King of Wands have been a focus for the day, or not for the day, for the week. Now, this absolutely could be someone else, someone external to you. And then you have the three of wands in reverse on the back end, or on the other side of the deck, which is saying to me that this individual, whether this is someone that this is an energy within you, or this is an external figure, this, this part of the reading may not, or at least the pre-shuffle, may not really resonate with everybody. But I feel like for those of you that have been dealing with an external individual, like not an energy within yourself, but an external being in your life that you might have been at odds with. This is the individual that could be putting up a fight and keeping you from being or traveling along your path, along uh, going in a direction that you may have already chosen to go in. But this individual here says it's not right. because they have some sort of authority in your life or in the lives of others that they influence. And they basically, they, they can, they can oppose you. And so they will. King of Wands. Okay, so let's, let's, let's get, let's go into the rest of the message for today. This one shuffle. Oh, look. Looky here. Look at <laughs> the 
look what's on the top of the deck. <laughs> the tower. And then on the back end, we have the queen of pentacles in reverse and with her back turned. Oh, no, it's not the queen. That's the king again. That's the king again. That's the king of pentacles. Um... Oof. All right, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna get into the reading here. Please bear with me, you guys, because I'm learning how to. I'm really having to relearn how I read when it comes to this deck because there are so many different options. As you can see with this, this is the vice versa deck, and as you can see, there is no back end that is uniform. So I could just keep getting messages over and over. So I kind of, I have to learn when to stop myself. However, this feels relevant. What I'm picking up here is the tower, and, and this is and this is the lightning. This is the lightning that it was striking in the Knight of Wands energy that I was saying, this is like the lightning that strikes the tower. And if you look here now, the King of Pentacles is now reversed, but his back is turned and the sun is shining. Um, I, I just feel like the King of Pentacles that we've been talking about here for most of the week, if not all week, is the viewer, okay? Or at least is someone that's getting that spark from the Knight of Wands energy and here, this kind of feels good, even though it's reversed. It's like you're turning away from the drama. You're turning away from the disbelief, all of the things that would hold you back. And that is, in energetic form, that is the energy of the, um, the tower. In energetic form, I mean like in the circumstances around you, the, to the tower is striking. And slowly but surely, you're turning your back on things that no longer serve you, that have, been only, that have only served to hold you back, okay? That's excellent. I just wanted to say that because that's what I was feeling. All right, here we go. <sighs> Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for today, Thursday, G uh, July 4th, 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, the color is still purple. Uh, there's a lot of learning, a lot of divine wisdom that's coming through in this circumstance for you, whatever this is. And I, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm, I'm not only am I learning how to like re read the cards, um, but my, my method is changing because I like doing this whole pre-shuffle thing um, but then doing that prayer afterwards kind of feels out of place because I'm so used to doing it at the very beginning. I don't know. I'll work it out. If you guys want to put your two cents in, go ahead, put it in the description box, uh, not in the description box, in the, in the, the comments. Tell me how, tell me about what you, the, the flow, how, what you think of the flow of the reading. <laughs> okay. Last shuffle. All right, kids, let's see what we've got. Aha. Aha, aha, aha. Okay, we're gonna leave it there. Only two cards came out, which is nice. Oh my God. <laughs> Yo. There's that King of Pentacles again. Okay, but also on the other side, we have the Queen of Cups and her back is turned. Both are reversed. That makes a lot of sense. It really makes a lot, a lot of sense. Um, what we have here, we have the world and we have the Nine of Cups. Okay, so give me a second. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this one at a time. You have the world, and this is, this is the, 
this is the side that we're most acquainted with, right? This is the other side. This side of the world talks about kind of just trying to get through the situation without really closing it out. It's like, it's almost like you're, tr you're just trying to get through the portal or get through the doorway and just get on to the next situation without really allowing what you're coming out of to close out. So don't be in such a rush. Allow the situation to come to an end. Allow the situation to really just finish, to complete itself. Okay, there's a little bit of stamina also that you can build if you want to look at it this way. Instead of focusing on um, how awful it might feel, how much you want to get out of the circumstance or the situation, instead you can focus on the strength that you could be continue to be building and the stamina that you could continue to be building as you are allowing the situation to really just complete itself. Because you, I mean, think about it this way. This is almost like a Knight of Pentacles theory. The Knight of Pentacles is an energy, is the slowest moving Knight in the deck, first and foremost, but it's an energy of thoroughness, extreme thoroughness in some circumstances, circumstances, which could give way to procrastination, you know, things like that. But at its core, at its finest, the Knight of, Knight of Pentacles is an energy or an individual that goes about his journey, goes about his process, and leaves no stone unturned because he has no intentions of getting to his destination only to find out that something wasn't done correctly or something broke or just something needs to be redone in the past. He is not trying to go back double back to fix that to then come back to the end right so he's going to do everything that he needs to do and make sure it's done correctly and make sure it's done thoroughly before he moves on to the next step in his journey and that's kind of the energy that i want you to think about at least with the world here in this depiction of it because the situation the cycle is coming out to a close anyway all right regardless of really uh, what I'm kind of feeling here is regardless of your input at this point, the input that you have is going to have more of an influence over your life, your reality, your, your expression of your internal reality. The, any action that you take is more, have going to have more effect, more of an effect on you than the external circumstances, because ultimately the external circumstances are wrapping up by divine order, by divine decree, or by you just in a in the process of closing out a really old major cycle. Okay. So, so really the energy is the, the the message here is to really just go with the flow. Now I completely understand why you why you would want to be rushing through this so much with that knight of wands energy too because of the king of pentacles in reverse here but also the queen of pentacles i'm sorry the queen of cups in reverse now part of this situation could be that because i'm seeing i'm definitely seeing another side to this now Part of the situation could be that you have this spark, this flash of inspiration represented in the Knight of Wands, but also the tower that was apparent or that came out. Um, but circumstances may not be ideal for you to take action on that situation. And so then in comes the King of Swords saying, whoa, wait, not just yet. Okay. That makes perfect sense. Here and then that would be why the King of Pentacles could be in reverse because you have the ability, you have the autonomy, you have the audacity, I just heard. You have the finances, you have the, you, you believe in your, 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 mmm, multifaceted substantiality, whoa. 
You believe, you have the belief in your multifaceted substantiality. What does that mean? Understanding that you are a multifaceted being and that you do have the capacity and the ability to manifest anything you want through that multifaceted nature of yourself. This actually, whoa, excellent guys. This, if, if you're resonating with it at this point, like if you're resonating with this side of the equation, this new scenario that's coming out, then you really have been working on mastering your multifaceted potential. That's beautiful. Holy shit, y'all, we are really advancing here, aren't we? Damn, okay, but then, there are emotions that you're having to deal with. This either could be in, um, in terms of not being able to move forward yet, or this could be the piece of the puzzle that you're needing to deal with now that's allowing the cycle to really close out. And that may be why you're trying to avoid it, because you're trying to avoid dealing with the emotions. Now, the fact that the Queen of Cups is in reverse here really isn't so good. But the fact that her back is turned to me is saying that she is handling her emotions or she, at least she is trying to handle her emotions on her own. She's not trying to be manipulative. She's not trying to rope anybody into her woe is me. And I don't mean that in a derogatory way. Um, but some of you may could be really could be wallowing in your own self-pity, which really is not good. Now, what you do have here, though, the one card I haven't spoken about yet, the Nine of Cups. This is a wish fulfillment card, all right? Um, I'm trying to remember what the book said about this. And I know I don't, I don't usually go off the book definition anymore because I've learned a lot about the Tarot and so I, I really do have an intrinsic understanding about it but this deck is slightly different and I really do like the spin that it puts on things but I can't really remember right now um, but what this is uh, what this is saying to me is that your dreams are going to come true period I mean I'm trying to look for an elaborate way to say it but it really just, I mean, I, this is almost like a future card. That's kind of what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing you in the future standing in whatever it is you're dreaming of creating for yourself, right? And looking out and even looking back on where you were, like, say, in this current moment, thinking, wow, I've come a long way. When I thought that this was never going to end and I was so wrapped up in my emotions... And, and feeling blocked or disbelieving in my ability to manifest. Shit, look at me now. This is a future energy. So that's coming through as a sort of reassurance. Yes? Okay. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. So now we're going to cross into the clarification and the oracle section. So this is going to this clarification. You can call this clarification slash closing message from the tarot. Yeah. And then we'll get the. Actually, no, let's say it this way. Clarification slash um, closing guidance from the tarot. And then we'll get a closing message from the crystal mandala oracle. All right, one more shuffle. And let's see what we've got here for you. Yes, 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 yes. Look at that magician, I love it. At the bottom of the deck here, you have the Seven of Cups, okay? You have the Magician. You also have the Four of Cups with the Emperor. Whoa, excuse me. <laughs> okay, that's a good thing. What else do we have here? Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Oof, the Five of Cups in reverse and the Six of Wands. Gosh, that's really interesting.
Interesting. Okay, so this could either be two different sections of whom of this collective that I'm channeling for or these individuals that I'm channeling for, or this is the same thing. Like it's the same individual or the same circumstance. Um, so take it as it resonates. But the basically the, the root of the guidance or the closing guidance here from the tarot is the seven of cups. It's that you have to either this is a really confusing time for you right now and you really just need to try and keep your wits about you or you just have to deal with the emotions. You have to deal with the emotions. You have to just face them. A lot could be coming up right now and instead of running from them, which instead of running from the past, face it, okay? Because you do have a situation here in which something really has closed out. Seven of Pentacles in reverse, to me, in this situation, in, in this, in this situation is talking about something that's already come to harvest or already come to fruition. You've already, you've already harvested what you can that's salvageable or usable. Regard, and it, this doesn't necessarily mean that it was a bad harvest. It may have been a really excellent harvest for you, um, but this is in the past. You, it, it's, it's grown to fruition. You harvested it. You, you've tilled the soil, and now, and it's almost as if now you're ready to replant, but you're not allowing yourself to because something from this past situation still has you up in your feelings about it. And I can totally resonate with that. Okay, I can totally resonate with that because there have been some things coming up lately. Um, from I'll be specific. There have been some things that have come up from the. I don't actually know how to really say this, how to label it anymore, but I'll say it this way because this is how we know it. There are situations that have been coming up from my own personal twin flame journey um, in which, uh, and as I've been watching, as I've been noticing and paying attention to what's been coming up, it's all of these things and all these memories from the very beginning of the journey when like things really kicked off and catalyzed for me two years ago. Um, things from the very beginning of the whole situation that I had kind of forgotten about. And the more I look at it, the more I observe and uh, the more I observe all the things that come up, the old, the, the more older stuff comes up, right? So it's almost as if I'm, I'm like literally clearing out the, the deepest parts of that memory bank, right? And yeah, regret, guilt shame, remorse, it's all coming up. But you have to remember that this is old. This has already come to fruition. You've already harvested what was necessary from it. And you really, literally, you've already moved on. That's what I'm hearing and feeling with the Seven of Pentacles. And it was a victory all around. Obstacles surmounted, um, um, mountain conquered, you know? You, you, regardless of what, regardless of what, you know, the end result physically looked like, regardless of that, it was a victory. Six of Wands. Even in, even if you just learned a shit ton, right? That is still a victory, and that is what's actively happening in closing out this cycle. You can't just jump into the next cycle without really dealing with everything. Queen of Cups in reverse. And it really, the situation has very much made you into a very solid individual, King of Pentacles, okay? We're not talking gender here, we're talking energy, guys. Okay, so now, what do you have? You have the Magician, you have the Emperor, but you also have the Four of Cups. And to be quite honest, the Four of Cups kind of feels like a good thing here. The Four of Cups is speaking of boredom. Yes, unrequited love. But this is the catalyst that gets you up on your feet, taking your power back, and manifesting what it is you truly desire in life. Period. I mean, there's really nothing else to say there. So this is a good thing. So take your boredom. Take your dissatisfaction, take your sense of unrequited love, take it all, take it all, wrap it up in a nice little bundle, pick yourself up off the floor, pick up that bundle, 
and throw it away and start manifesting. But in order to manifest, you guys, you have to close out the cycle. I'm sorry, allow the cycle to close itself out. That's what Spirit just said. Because you can't really, you, there's really no physical action you can take any longer. You really just have to let the energies flow and let the situation close out on its own, in its own time, in right time, in due course, in divine timing, yes? Deal with the emotions. Allow them to come up. Allow yourself to feel them. Don't identify with them any longer because that's not who you are anymore. That is not the path that you're on anymore. That was a catalyst. I really feel like I should be talking to myself. That, off, that happens so often in these readings. <laughs> okay. Forget about the future. Spirit is saying, forget about the future. Because yes, because I'm, I'm, we're, hearing, we're hearing your questions. And the question is, what if this person, if you're dealing with a romantic situation, what if this person comes back? What if this person comes back? That is entirely possible for the sheer fact that anything is possible, right? So don't worry about that. Cross that bridge when you get there. Because maybe, just maybe, if that person were to come back, maybe they're very, very different. Maybe they are completely changed from the individual that you knew in the past that you may have had a falling out with. And if that's the case, excellent. But cross that bridge when you get there. And if they do come back and that's not the case, then I'd say you are quite well equipped to handle that shit swiftly and kick that shit to the curb. So either way, what are you so afraid of? There's nothing to be afraid of. Right? I mean, as long as you've done your work and you've learned your lesson, who the fuck really cares if they come back? Right? I know that's right. <laughs> okay, excellent. So now we're gonna get the closing message from the Crystal Mandala Oracle. go. Closing message, please, Spirit. Ooh. Ooh, 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 y'all. We got two today. We got two. And the way they flew out, I'm going to take them. We have card number 28, Ascended Master Lao Tzu and Zinkite. I believe that's how you say that. Or Zinsight. Zinkite. Descending power. Oh, this is gorgeous. Both of them are gorgeous, actually. But then you have card number 53, Goddess Zi Wang Mu, Mu, Mu. I'm sorry if I, I'm sorry if I butchered that. <laughs> and str uh, Stromatolite, rare success. I don't think I've, I don't think I've ever gotten this card. I've been using this deck since, uh, since like the very beginning of having my channel over a year now, over a year and a half now. And I don't think I've really ever gotten this card to come out. Maybe there, maybe once, or maybe, maybe twice, but wow. Okay. We're gonna read both of these. So we're gonna start with card number 28. Descending power. We bring you the blessing of descending power. This is the wonderful downward current of energy that allows for manifestation, for strengthening of the spiritual connection to the body and of bringing your light to the earth. In the spiritual tradition, there is much emphasis on energy rising, yet without the balance of descending power, you will feel lost in your mind, scattered in your, in your thinking and frustrated in your efforts to see the inspired ideas you receive translated into completed tasks in the physical world. I am definitely seeing this descending power right now as that bolt of lightning, both from the Knight of Wands and the Tower. 
Absolutely. And the King of Pentacles being the ability to translate and complete tasks in the physical world, right? Okay. The uprising power helps you shift frequencies and access inspiration, whilst the down or sorry, the descending power helps you ground to create. There is a time and a place for both the rising and the descending currents of divine energy. You are guided to attend at this time to the descending power to make best progress on your life journey. Perfect. And then finally, we have card 53, rare success. Boop, shit, boop, shit, boop, ding a lang a lang. Here we go. <laughs> we bring you the empowerment of rare success. You are bringing something utterly unique, special, and precious to the world. Whilst there are creations that are worthwhile and valuable, which can manifest swiftly, there are others that are labors of love requiring diligence, strength, and long term commitment to bring them to life in the world. These exquisite creations are the divine manifestations of rare success, that which shall stand the test of time and offer a legacy of comfort, encouragement, and divine grace for generations to come. And if anybody in the deck, if anybody, any individual, maybe two individuals, represent that energy of longevity, of something lasting, solid, grounded, not going anywhere anytime soon, it would be the king and queen of pentacles. This is who you are. Let me say it again. This is who you are. Please believe in that. Okay? So I'm going to leave that king of pentacles upright. Bitches. <laughs> All right, guys. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Happy 4th. And I look... Oh, oh. Well, no, never mind. <laughs> and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye.